Another great opportunity on this brand new roof and some issues that are wrong with it that a lot of roofers are doing. They just haven't seen the effects of this over time. We have, we know that you can't do this. And so we wanna show you why. So peeling six straight to deck, if you're not putting a lifetime roof on, is a bad idea depending on the peeling stick. If you're gonna put a high temp peeling stick on, right to deck and then a metal roof, fine. It's gonna be there for a long time. But a shingle roof, there becomes a problem when you put a peeling stick down direct to deck. The peeling stick will melt to the wood and then in some instances, the shingle will melt to the peeling stick and you can't get the roof off. It's a bad idea. It's a cheap, easy way for a roofer to put the roof on and it's easy for them to stay within codes because you don't have to nail it. So they don't have to worry about their nail patterns and all the stuff that the codes require, but it leaves you the homeowner with a problem in the future. We've seen roofs that were 12 years old that we go in and we can't get the roof off. So I'm gonna show you one that we're doing right now. This one's only a couple months old. Once this melts over time, it gets worse and worse. The shingles didn't have a chance to melt completely, but I wanna show you a couple shots. Right here, shingles melted to the peeling stick. Peeling sticks melted to the roof. We're able to get some of these off because this is OSB, a little bit easier than plywood. But you can see it's coming off in small pieces. We're pulling on it, pulling on it, and we're not gonna probably be able to get all of it off. But here's what we wanna see. We wanna get in so we can see where the deck's nailed at. Now, if we have peeling stick covering that up, we can't see that. How are we gonna re-nail that? We can pop lines all we want, but we're just guessing. We're trying to find where the trusses are to re-nail the deck. How do we know the roofer before us did it right? At Eustace Roofing, we don't peel and stick direct to deck unless it's a metal roof and a high temp peel and stick that's not going to melt to the shingle or the metal. It's super important. This is a cheap product that goes on quick. I like it if it's on top of synthetic. Synthetic doesn't tear. You can take it back off when you go to replace the roof. Plus this peel and stick, you can tear real easy. So if you combine it with a synthetic, it becomes a really good product. But direct to deck, this is what we get it won't come off, the shingles melt to it, it's gonna cost the homeowner more. I always say a synthetic, then a peeling stick, and you've got a really, really good roof system at that point.